York's Madison Square Garden and the National Invitation Tournament Final. Coach Luke Honasek of St. John's University at left, and Marquette Al McGuire at the right. And here's the opening tap. St. John's in the white. Joe Dupre down court. Jeff Sewell steals the ball, and the high-ranking Warriors from Milwaukee waste no time. That's Rick Cobb in the corner. Out to Dean Meminger, and over to Sewell on the outside. Jeff is free for a beauty. The Warriors are super ball hawks, and this big one is the Redmond's team captain, Dupre, discovers. This time, Gary Bell is the thief, and he goes all the way. Here's slow motion on St. John's, who would dearly love to win this tourney for retiring coach Karnaseka. Dupre feeds Big Bill Paltz for the basket. And now Marquette in slow motion. Hugh McMahon passes in a Memminger, who almost loses it to Greg Cluse, but Dean recovers, and now he makes that bucket. Thirty-five to twenty-five, St. John trails at the half, and the high-jumping Warriors scoop up another rebound. Cobb fires down a Sewell, and it's two more points for Marquette. Here's slow motion on the favored Warriors as St. John spites them with everything they've got. Joe Thomas shooting. It rims the basket. Dupre rebounds beautifully and races down court. A bounce pass to John DeVasto, and the Red Men cut that lead. Memminger, voted the Tony's most valuable player, continues to spark the Warriors' offense. But this one, he misses. Yet the battle for the rebound is won by his teammate, Thomas. It's in there. The Warriors have a little too much in every department for the St. John's finalists, including the game's high individual scorer, Sewell. That's Jeff, and Marquette wins the 1970 NIT crown.